Hey, it's Melissa Ramos from Sexy Food Therapy. And if you are one of those people who doesn't believe that supplements or this natural stuff uh, actually works for the common cold, well think again because this week is part two and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the supplement portion. Those that work and those that probably wouldn't help you out. So stay tuned for another week of your Red Couch Confessions. Oh, I know, Lord have mercy, there is so much selection when it comes to the natural health industry, it's overwhelming. Not to mention all these ingredients that seem so foreign and some of them that you can't even pronounce. So instead of going into an actual supplement shop and talking about brands, I want to talk to you about individual ingredients so that when you take a look at these brands the next time that you can make your best educated guess and feel better right away. So what helps with the common gold? So when you have a cold, you're going to want to strongly take things that are antiviral, that are really going to kick that cold in the butt, like golden seal. And golden seal happens to be a powerful antiviral. Combined with echinacea, you've got a kick butt approach because echinacea also has some natural antibiotic properties as well. But what about those slippery elm lozenges that you find in health food stores? Well, if you have a dry cough, they'll definitely help to soothe and coat that sore throat to give you relief right away. And elecampane? Well, elecampane's great, especially if you've got a lot of mucus that you want to bring up. The biggest mistake people make when they're sick is taking immune-boosting compounds like reishi and astragalus. The reason why this is a mistake is because these herbs are for prevention, but when you take them when you're sick, it actually strengthens the cold. It gives your cold muscles. An interesting note, though, is this herb seen here, astragalus, makes an excellent immune-boosting chew toy for your pet. Hmm, sexy pet therapy, maybe? A word of caution on herbs, stay away from licorice if you have high blood pressure. The reason why is because licorice increases blood pressure. So if you see it in a formula, you're going to want to avoid it. All right, so I want to leave you with a couple more supplements to discuss. One is oregano oil. Um, how would you use it? One of the best ways that I actually like to use oregano oil is when I have um, that sort of gross, nasty tasting pit in the back of my throat. Um, I will actually put about three, four drops of oregano oil in a little bit of water and gargle with it and that helps to get rid of that right away. Um, vitamin C, get off those chewables because they're filled with sugar and sugar is going to, to actually decrease your immunity. So instead, you're going to take the buffered vitamin C because then that way it's not as acidic on the stomach and you can take higher dosages of it without well, getting the runs. Alright, so I'd love to be able to know what helps you naturally when you have a cold, both supplements and food, so please comment below. Otherwise, if you have uh, any questions or confessions for next week, do let me know at melissa at sexyfoodtherapy.com. Otherwise, if you have loved this video or you felt that it was useful, share it on Facebook or Twitter um, or even comment on YouTube. Until next week, have yourself a healthy, happy, and sexy day. Bye.